Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and it's finally time my friends, it's finally time to review the Secret Labs Titan Evo 2022-2023 Ed. Now this puppy right here is gonna be an ash color and this is the Neo leather red version. And the size is, I do believe, a regular size and you can see it right over here somewhere. So let's start with the beginning, the unboxing experience. This was delivered to me, I think about a week ago and unfortunately it didn't really go so smoothly. When the box was delivered, most of it wasn't tied down by scotch tape. You know how they just put tape over everything, every single cardboard box. Unfortunately, this one didn't have much on the underside. And because of this, one of the uh, cardboard pieces was kind of like left flapping. Now, it didn't look like it was tampered with per se. Definitely not. It didn't look like it had uh, tape over it and then removed. You know how that can like scratch the surface and all whatnot. You can see some differences there. It just looked like nobody ever really bothered to put tape there in the first place. Now, this was a very minor inconvenience. I simply grabbed my pair of scissors, grabbed some tape, and I taped it right back up. And then I went for the unboxing experience. Now, I'll be honest, I looked at a lot of reviews before choosing this chair. My old chair, that has served me for well over four years, was cracked, simply put. And if you want to see more details on that, there's going to be a link in the cards in the... It should be here unless the video is flipped, in which case you, you'll find it. Back to the problem at hand, after seeing a bunch of reviews, it was pretty obvious to me that the Secret Labs Titan Evo was definitely a fantastic option. It looked like it had all these brand new features. It was an awesome looking gaming chair and I have been using premium gaming chairs in the past, so I definitely went for it. When I started the unboxing, a lot of the materials were premium, absolutely freaking fantastic premium materials. I'm talking about closed cell foam, I'm talking about everything being individually wrapped and not by that cheap plastic kind of thing. These were thick layers. But the more I unboxed the chair and the more I started to build it, the more the premium feeling kind of evaporated. A whole lot of issues came to light, starting with indentations in the actual letter. I just freed it from the packaging and unfortunately it looks like this. This is an indentation from the packaging. I'm not exactly sure how this happened, but I'm thinking applying a little bit of hair dryer heat and maybe this will come out. But you gotta bear in mind that the padding underneath is also stilted, like this kind of pushed in, and that's just a crying shame. A lot shame. of upholstery issues, I'm talking about stitching issues, I'm talking about the leather being simply warped or creased not exactly the most premium experience and continuing onward with the armrest not matching up properly and the backrest not aligning properly to the seat not only that the tilt mechanism seemed to be damaged now unfortunately i just discovered a major issue take a look at the tilt mechanism like i said before these are mass produced they're not really all that special look at this I'm at the step where you need to attach the paddles and put it onto the chair, but look at this, there's like something poking out of it, this is not closing properly, and if you flip it around, <sighs> let me see if I can show you this properly, look at that, that is not premium quality, that is just simply put bad. And so on, the issues kind of kept piling up. So I decided it wouldn't exactly be fair to publicize a video with all of these issues before I let the company react. So, of course, I wrote customer support. I detailed exactly what were the issues. I provided videos and pictures as well. And here is where the merry-go-round started turning. Unfortunately, the first customer support operative seemed to focus in on a single issue, which According to them, mismatching the armrest is not an issue because they are supposed to not be equal because of the lever that the chair has for the reclining mechanism. Yes, I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but it's still extremely, extremely squeaky because this is one of the major issues of the chair. There's leather rubbing on the plastic, but even worse than that, there's a metallic clicky noise coming from the actual recline mechanism of the chair. But back to my customer support adventure, the first operative explained to me in about a week, it took him to explain to me, that it's fine for the armrest to be mismatched and considering that didn't bother me all that much and it's still plenty comfortable as it is, I could align them uh, visually to make them look symmetrical using the screws down below. So I let that one go. I said, okay, fine. At the end of the day, it's not that big of an issue. But I also gently pointed out that, hey, you know, what about all the what about all the rest of the issues that the chair has? Can you help me with that? And this is when I was transferred to another customer support operative, which thankfully was a whole lot more helpful. And they will be replacing the tilt mechanism, the gas lift, and the base because the three are essentially stuck together. 
but nothing still done about the upholstery. It was roughly at this point where I was a bit frustrated and kind of fed up with the chair. It kept on making all of these noises and I thought, you know what, I bought a product, maybe it's not as great as I would have hoped and that's not a problem, I'll just return it. And that's when I checked out the return policy for these specific chairs because my fault here was that I didn't check this out before. Everybody was screaming about, hey, 49 days return policy, and that is fantastic, my friends, and true, if you live in America. But if you live in Europe, you only get 14 days. Not only that, their actual return policy is a whole lot more abrasive than you might think. Let's go a bit deeper into this one. This is the official Secret Labs website, and we're gonna have two variants. First for Europeans, top right portion of the screen, and we're gonna have one for the United States as well. If you don't know how to change the region, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can change it from here. Prices are the same, only Europeans pay in Euro and Americans pay in Dollars. And unfortunately, a Euro does not equal a Dollar. A Euro is more valuable, so you are gonna be paying up more if you live in Europe. Now let's hover over to the return policy. You also have the warranty policy that I do recommend highly you read before purchasing. You gotta select the date for when you bought your chair. Mine appeared in March, I think somewhere around here and view the return policy. Now viewing the return policy will not prompt it over on the website. Instead, it will prompt you to download the file. We will download said file and then I'll put it on the screen. We're gonna get one for both US and AU and I'm gonna put both of them side by side. On the left, you got yourself the European version excluding the United Kingdom because they apply to different rules and we also got the United States on the right. Cancellation period up to 14 days from the date you receive the goods based on our tracking records. And for US, 49 days from the date you received your product based on your tracking records. And you see, this is already one big issue. If you live in the United States, bye, 49 days is not bad. Though do bear in mind that both for Europe and United States, you are responsible for all shipping fees and cost. Now, when I realized that, hey, listen, I don't really want to keep this product. It's simply not all that fantastic. It's not what I expected. It doesn't live up to the hype. I wanted to return it. So of course I asked a shipping estimate from a couple of transport companies, UPS, DHL, etc. And unfortunately, my friends, to ship this back to them would have costed me over 110 euro. It is not about the weight because this is 38 kilograms or something of the sort with the package including. It's about the size of the package. So obviously returning the product would mean I would lose a pretty good chunk of chain directly on the shipping. Never mind the additional cost that might entail. And you'll see exactly what I mean. On the European side, goods are returned in original packaging. As far as I know, here in Europe, we are not obligated by law to keep the packaging. I know it's different for the United States. And on the United States, uh, side you have in excellent condition as well. Uh, goods are completely disassembled, that is reasonable. Goods notice and proof of return is provided to us within 14 days for Europeans and of course 49 days for the guys over in the US. On the United States side, any shipping costs paid by you when making your purchase will not be refunded. This does not appear on the European side. Uh, shipping was not free. I paid for shipping 9 euro or something of the sort. Now granted, it's not a big deal, especially considering the size and heft of the package, but it's still on a 500 plus euro chair, other manufacturers offer free shipping. They go on to say that some products are excluded from this policy, of course, something like wet wipes. If you buy wet wipes for 25 bucks or euro, fine, you cannot return those if you open them, obvious, that's reasonable. Or stuff like head pillows bought separately as accessories and unsealed by you after delivery. This is a hygiene issue, yes? This is why you cannot return them, but you can return the one from your original chair. All cleaners and wipes, of course, Secret Labs, Titans, Extra Small Chair, Secret Labs, Fortnite, Battle Bus Edition chairs, like for these, they have these skin codes, yes? So you can buy the chair, use the skin code, then return the chair. You can't do that, obviously. On the European side, shipping estimates range between 50 and 100 euro for bulky items. They are correct. I got the smallest estimate I got was 110 euro. And between 25 and 50 for smaller accessories, actual shipping costs will vary depending on different factors, including distance from the shipping destination and the carrier rates, which may fluctuate. Across Europe, usually these are pretty constant. However, because European nation, the AU, all of that stuff. For high value goods, we encourage you to pay the shipping insurance to safeguard against any loss of damage. This is a very good tip. My estimate was without insurance. With insurance, it went to something like 160 euro. On the US side, they say including its original packaging because from what I know, you guys in the US are forced to keep your packaging for warranties and stuff like that, which is 
kind of bonkers, but in Europe we don't really have to do that. Goods that are contained in heat seal transparent packages are packaged to allow for visual inspection without the need to open the seal. Now, I'm pretty sure they are referring to these things. Yes, it's about the neck pillows and all whatnot, but you, you need to open them from the packaging to actually test them. And it looks to me like with this clause, they're simply trying to get around the fact that they can't charge you for packaging in case you don't have it in Europe. So they're trying to make a little bit of legal mumbo jumbo to get around that. If you remove the seal, Secret Lab reserves the right to charge you for any fees that it may incur in restoring the product. Fees range between 10 and 25% of the original product price. So there you have it, my friends. Please keep it in the foil. Do not remove it, even though, honestly, this seems quite abusive. And if anybody has a bit more knowledge regarding commercial law, please let us know in the comment section down below. Is this abusive or not? It sure reads that way. One more thing regarding the warranty. It is three years. That is how much you get. Three years warranty. It is not five years. You get five years if you go on Twitter, Facebook, etc. And you share a picture of your brand new chair on social media. Essentially generating free marketing for them. Now it's not exactly free because they do give you two years of additional warranty. But if the customer support ignores your issues or even better yet say that, hey, that's fine. Just keep it like that. It's not a warranty issue. Well, then what's the good of the two extra years. But tell me something, my friends, how many of you have experience with peeling? And I'm talking about PU leather peeling. Here's what happens to PU leather when it gets worn down over time, especially when it comes to chairs. It can either peel or it can crack, both depending on the quality and the type of the actual leather used. Now there's good news, Secret Labs offers warranty peeling protection. Yes, you are protected from peels if you live in a very warm climate, not Europe. However, so you tell me, my friends, what is their warranty actually worth? This is the post I had to make to get the extended warranty. And I see now I was wasting my time and I cannot recommend this product. Now, when I understood that returning the chair is not really an option, not only was I disappointed, I was left with the following choice. Okay, what exactly do I do now? I am still not happy with the quality of the product simply because I had premium gaming chairs before. And if this is what Secret Labs understands by premium, then I'm afraid we have very different understandings of the term premium. Let me show you a bit of a comparison when it comes to the finish of the overall product with another premium gaming chair that I, or better said my wife, has been using for the better part of four years. Have a look at what Secret Labs calls premium quality. Not only that, their customer support says, hey, this is fine for our products. So I'm left to believe that this is the quality they are referring to when they are saying premium. Have a quick look. I don't think any other additional commentary is necessary in this case. Look at this. Oh my God. How? I don't even know. I don't even know. And the chair essentially has all kinds of issues like this throughout the entire upholstery. Have a look at the alignment. And I spent several hours trying to align it properly because it does have a little bit of play here. Okay, you can try to align it, but unfortunately it simply does not. It is possible that the... Uh, Reclining mechanism they are sending me would fix the problem. It's also developing a little bump here. It wasn't like that when it was new. Now, this is Secret Labs. Allow me to compare to another premium gaming chair brand that I had for over four years. Now, I will be covering up the brand because I have no interest in advertising for the company. This is not a paid sponsored video by any stretch of the imagination. None of these products were sent to me by anybody they were paid for out of my own pocket and used by me and my family. Now let's talk about some of the features and the comfort of the chair. 
This is a magnetic neck pillow and it's by far the best one I have ever used in a gaming chair. It's made out of memory foam. Now you may or may not like that. For me, this is absolutely perfect. The one thing I can complain about is not the strength of the actual magnet. This is fine. This is good enough. The only problem is I wish the magnetic part would extend down into over here. I believe that the magnet is here. And there's some kind of another magnet or some metal bit over here that should extend further down so you can put it a bit more like here at times. But normally this is kind of like the range you got here. From my point of view, it's definitely fine. From an aesthetics point of view, if you like it or you don't like it, that's entirely up to you. From my point of view, there's a bit too much marketing, especially on the back. I would have preferred this to be clean. There's plenty of marketing on the front. And I'll also say that these armrests that come with a magnetic attachment, and you probably already saw this in a million videos already, this is fantastic. This magnetic attachment, soft, awesome, really nice on your uh, elbows. But I don't know how long this material would legitimately last. You can buy replacements, but they're definitely not cheap. I don't know how long these will last, but for the time being, they are definitely comfortable, and they have the usual range of adjustments that you can find on these gaming chairs or better said premium gaming chairs the lumbar support is also good because there are two adjustments first of all you can adjust the height and the depth of the lumbar support so you can customize it to your own preference i got one complaint here i wish it would have gone a bit more lower than it does but it is fine as it is breathability for the material is simply not there this is their neo leatherette it's a form of pu leather or something of the sort now they claim it will last five times the amount of normal PU leather. Of course, these are marketing claims. I have no idea if it is true or not. But they also have fabric seats. Yes, so if you want more breathability and you wanna buy Secret Labs Titan, there are fabric seats and there are skins made out of fabric that you can put over them in a bunch of colors and styles and etc. Again, the marketing is absolutely top notch when it comes to Secret Labs. Other features, well, you got this little tag here. There's an NFC tag over here and you get to see the serial and your number. And where you also go to customer support, there is a serial number underneath this one and they will ask for this one as well. Magnetic fingies on the side, which are entirely unnecessary, but definitely cool. And if you're gonna be getting a chair like mine that has alignment issues, you're gonna keep taking them on and off. So I learned to appreciate this specific feature. This is where the main problem is. I'm talking about the rubbing on leather. Yes, that will be fixed apparently with their barrier kit. Another nice piece of marketing mumbo jumbo. And this is where the nasty sounds comes from. Not from the leather rubbing, from the actual tilt mechanism. Listen to this. Enjoy recording vids or making streams with this going on in the background. It's not fantastic, but hopefully the tilt mechanism they sent me will fix that issue as well. And that's pretty much it. It's time to draw some conclusions. I really wanted to like this product. I really wanted to give it a full thumbs up and a recommendation, but I just simply can't. The quality isn't there. The customer support experience is definitely not there. And if you live in Europe and you want one of these, not only are you paying more for it, but are getting borderline abusive return policies. For the time being, to me, Secret Labs is nothing but fantastic marketing and pretty good packaging. But the quality of the product leaves a lot to be desired. Let the buyer beware. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.